Hey everyone, I hope you have your glue guns and your glitter and all your craft supplies ready for today because this is going to be an awesome centerpiece DIY. Let's get started and talk about this centerpiece for a second here. The particular centerpiece that we are going to make today, you can use for, as usual, with almost any of my centerpieces, you can use for any occasion. But this particular centerpiece that we're going to create today is going to be themed for a wedding, an engagement party, anniversary party, or even a bridal shower. I'm just going to go over a few of the items that we're going to need for today's centerpiece so that if you want to make it along with me, you can gather your supplies and we can make it together. Okay, so first thing you need is a Lomi dish, a Lomi universal piece, and we're going to use a 14 inch Lomi column. I will put a link in the description box below where you can purchase these. I know that you might be able to get them at your local floral surprise, floral supply store. Uh, you can't buy these at the craft store, they don't carry them. So either you have to buy them through your floral supply or you can get them from the description link down below. Okay? So we're going to use those pieces. Then we're also going to be using some. Um, mylar foil tissue we're going to use some beads I love to use beads these are silver I have number 40 inch ribbon and the last thing that we're going to use will be these little hearts that I just cut out of a metallic paper okay so let's just jump right into it and get this party started First, we're going to start with the Lomi dish and the Lomi Universal and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put hot glue all over my Universal piece and then I'm just going to glue it to my Lomi dish. I always use my Lomi dishes upside down so I'm just going to glue that right to there and then it's going to come out like this and I already glued a couple of my foil papers on here. So now I'm going to take my foil paper and for this particular centerpiece, these squares I cut already are a little bit too large so I'm just going to cut them down to, um, to be a little bit smaller. I'm just going to cut that larger piece in four sections and then all I'm going to do is take this little piece of foil, twist it around at the bottom dip it into my hot glue. I'm using pan glue, but you can use your um, you can use your glue gun. And then I'm just going to glue these little pieces of foil onto my Lomi dish. And I'm just going to glue them all over so that I cover my Lomi completely. I really like the smaller pieces of foil tissue sometimes just because sometimes the other ones are so large when you're just using a small base. They're really great for coverage when you're using a very large base. There's our Lomi base which was this dish all decorated up. Next I'll just take my Lomi column and I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the bottom of this and then I'm just going to push my Lomi pole onto the universal piece and you see how nice that stands up and it gives you this whole extra level to work with. Now I have some beads, beautiful silver beads that I take my beads and drop them into my Lomi column so that they fill it up. They fill up that empty space that's in there. Look at that, okay? Then, for the fun part, we're going to make a bow, okay? For those of you that don't know how to make a bow, this is the cinchiest, easiest, easiest way to make a bow, and you are going to love me after you learn how to make this bow and you're going to make them like crazy. You're going to make them for centerpieces, you're going to make them for your mailbox, you're going to make them for chairs, you're going to make them for everything. So let's just see how we make this gorgeous bow. 
When you're going to create a bow, you want to first measure out your ribbon. So the way I measure my ribbon is I usually just pull it between my two arms and it's approximately a yard, give or take an inch or two. So I'm going to do about eight yards I'm going to pull here. So there's one, two, three, Okay, so I pulled about eight yards, and now I'm just gonna cut my ribbon. Start. Is your shiny side is out, away from you. And you fold the ribbon over towards you. So, shiny side out, fold the ribbon towards yourself. Decide about how big you want your bow to be. And I'm thinking that I want my bow to be about maybe this, this big. So next thing I do is I'm just going to take my ribbon and I'm going to fold it over the loops. Just make sure that my loops are all nice and even. And then I fold my ribbon over again. And I just keep folding it over the loops, over all the loops until it's all folded up here. Just have to make sure that you keep it all in line perfectly. I'm just doing this slow just because I want you to see exactly how I'm folding this over and how I'm creating these loops. We're almost done. This is going to make a really nice full bow for the top of our what's called bridal shower centerpiece. But you could use it, like I said, for an anniversary party. You could use it for a wedding for a bride and groom who are on a budget. Um. Okay. So we're just about done folding all of our loops and now we have something that looks like this. Okay, you see that? Looks like this. So here's, this is very cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of bend this together, this loop, and I'm going to hold it up close to the one end of the loops. I'm going to take my handy dandy scissors and I'm just going to cut a triangle on this one side. Okay, just a small triangle from like here to here. Okay, so look. I'm just going to turn it over and I'm going to do exactly the same thing on this side. I'm going to cut this little triangle. Let's hope these don't go all over again. Okay, so I have this little tiny piece now left up at the top of my ribbon, or yeah, my bow. So now what I do is I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to do the same thing up at this end here. I'm going to cut my triangle right here. And I'm going to be sure that I leave this little skinny part in the middle. These don't have to be exact, you know, get as close as you can get. Okay, so we have it on both ends, we have this little triangle. Alrighty, so now the super cool part is you go into the middle of your bow and you put all of those little folds together so that it looks like this. See that? And now we'll just take a little piece of curling ribbon. These are so fun to make. I make bows like by the bazillions and 
this method I found to be the best method to hand make a bow. So now I take my curling ribbon, I almost forgot to show you the step there, I was talking too much. Take your curling ribbon, wrap it around the middle, this middle skinny section that you've created. Wrap it around there. I have to put it down just to make the knot. And tie a nice, really super tight knot around the middle of your bow. Okay. So, here's what it ends up looking like. See, so you have these two sides to the bow. Now let's make the loops. So the way you make the loops, I hope I can show this properly, is you, you see how they're all in here? You're gonna go from the innermost loop, this inner one, and you're going to take it, you're going to pull it down and twist it. And then you're gonna take another loop from the right side, same thing, pull it down and twist it backwards, okay? So now you are going to take a loop from the opposite side, the left side, pull it down and twist it, and then pull one to the back and twist it. And you just keep pulling your loops down, back, down, back, until you've finished all the loops on this side. So I'll go down, and I'll go back, and then I'll go down, and then I'll go back, you can see it's starting to take form. And then I go down and back, so it came out perfectly. Now I've got the other end of my of my bow, and I think I'm gonna try to just come a little bit closer so I'm going can to go pull the bow, the inside loop down, and you take the next inside loop and you go back. And then you're going to take this loop right here, pull it down and the inside loop and go back. This, this loop down, right loop back, left loop down, left loop back, and there's your beautiful bow. It is the easiest possible way that you can learn how to make a bow. So if you've never known how to make a bow before, try it, leave me a comment below. So let's attach our beautiful bow to the top of our centerpiece. So the way I'm going to do that is I am just going to hot glue my bow right to the top of my pole here. I'm just gonna go and put some glue right around here. Oops, easy. Right around the top of the column. And then I'm just going to take my bow, the very center of the bow, and I'm going to glue it right to the top of the pole, the column, pull me column. Now these, these little pole bows, these, these are so easy to use and they're so fun. Um, they come in this little box. They're called Berwick Bow Magic Pole Bows. And you can order them online, I'm sure, from a floral supply. I don't think you can get those in the craft store locally. But anyway, so you take an inside of the bow, or I mean, let's see, inside the tail of the bow are two other little streamers, like, and you hold on to those. As you're holding on to those, you push up the rest of this little bow. Let me just get a hold of it here and you just push it up and it makes this really adorable, cute little bow. Tiny one. And what I wanted to do is I just thought it would be so cute to tie this and follow through with our little theme. I'm just going to tie this around our centerpiece column. You could glue these too, just to give them more stability, these little bows. But this is going to be so cute when it's done. And I'm just going to take another one. Uh, to open it first. Okay, so you open the tail of it, you take the two other little pieces that are on the inside, and you just push up, and it makes that cute. How fast was that bow? That was like really fast. 
and then I'm just putting another one down a little bit lower. I wanted to use these little white, plain white hearts, but I wanted them to have a little bit of glitz to them. See, I wanted to just glitter it a little bit, but I didn't want to glitter the whole heart. What so I, I did to create these cute little hearts with just a little bit of glitter on them was I took my Mod Podge and I mixed it with my glitter before I put it onto my heart. Normally what I do is I take the Mod Podge and I put that on and then I sprinkle the glitter all over it. I didn't do that for this one. For these, I did it a little different. I took the Mod Podge and I poured some Mod Podge into a cup. And then I took my glitter and I poured that into the cup. And you have to be a little bit generous with the with the glitter so that it mixes properly. And then I mixed it all up until I had this little this little potion here. And then I took and I just painted it onto my metallic foil heart. And this is how I got that effect. And once it dries, once this little heart dries, it, it dries to look like these glittery white hearts that I already made. But that's, that's a nice tip for you when you don't want to like dump the glitter on top of your item. You just want a little bit of a sparkle to it. You mix the Mod Podge with your glitter and then you just brush it on and it just brushes on so nicely. I just want to attach these hearts, a few of these hearts, right here to my bow. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on here, a little hot glue. This hot glue is really hot like almost too hot. And I'm just going to hold it onto my bow. And then for my final touch, I just wanted to add a little pop of color. And so I decided to use these little pink hearts and I'm just going to attach one here, the bottom. Thank you so much for joining me today. Be sure to comment down below and let me know if you have recreated this centerpiece. And if you have, maybe you could even tweet me a picture. I would love to see what you have made.